So welcome back guys, tonight I'm here with Ghost Legion and the SDF fleet and they're here to show me the lineup of their ships. We're going to go through every single one in turn. Um, so they're here with me today, so if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hello, I am Zero Sin and founder of the SDF faction. Hello, I'm uh, Ghost Liger, founder of the Ghost Legion. And hello, I'm Zyrenica. I have the ZIS ships, also a part of Ghost Legion. So I've just done the ships from the right side. Which fleet was that? Are uh, they mostly black or mostly gray? It's the one with the Ataraxia. That would be the ZIS fleet. Okay, so then over this side would be the SDF fleet. So let's go down the line. And uh, they're uh, lined up by class, okay, so they're all different. And we're going to start at this end when I get to the end, and uh, go through each one in turn. <laughs> so, I'm here at the end. <laughs> it's going to take a while. It is going to take a while, yeah. So this one here, what's this one? The Dragonfire, I presume that's the one you're looking at? Yep. That one was a regatta entry earlier, nah, but it was originally that, uh, with uh, less of uh, impressive turrets. Nice. Uh, that was my first original uh, design that I ever put on a server. Yeah, I remember we did a review on this one, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, hasn't been uh, posted, but this one's better. Ah, I see. It's improved. Yep, uh, Zero's working on a Mark II. Awesome. So what was the name of the ship again? The uh, Dragonfire, the GLDF Dragonfire. Does it have a class or a fleet role? It's a light uh, escort frigate. Okay, cool. Right, so let's move on to this one. What's the next one in the row? Next one should be the crossbow. Crossbow, and I believe we've covered this one in a, in yes, a review. Yes, you've covered the crossbow and the halberd. Okay, that's cool. This, uh, the crossbow holds an anti-fighter role as a frigate. Anti-fighter frigate. And the name was a crossbow? Yes, sir. Crossbow. Excellent. Okay, let's get on to the next one. We'll come back for interiors, I think. Yeah. There's not much to look at. And this one as well, we've covered this one too, have we not? Uh, no, next one in the lineup is the Dragoon Missile Frigate. Oh, okay, so this is a Dragoon. Okay, yeah, I can see it's got missile pods. Six individual computerized micro-missile pods and eight total Planet Buster D-1000 arrays. Oh, nice, I like the sound of that Planet Buster. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's not waste any time. What's next in the lineup? Uh, this would be the Halberd Gun Destroyer that was in the review with the crossbow. Ah, yes, we've looked at this one as well. Looks like it. Sh it this looks like it wants to transform into a mech. Just saying. <laughs> well, this is the closest one that resembles the actual mothership that all these ships are based on. Right, right. But this one looks like it's itching to just transform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's really nice looking. I, I like I say, I really like this one, especially like the tower and the antenna on the back. They're real nice touches. Yeah, that's been my standard design for every ship I build for this this series of ships. Okay. Oh, and also, who's this shuttle? Freeze. Um, probably me. And is this oh, your that's a shuttle? Bomber. Yep. Or is it a bomber? Dropship. Oh, it's a dropship. Uh, this is a bomber dropship. Okay. <laughs> What's is it? Does it have a name? Uh, Archangel for now. Archangel. I can come up with something better. Cool. And I take it the docking points are for your bombs. Yes, on the bottom. And the there is a turret docking point on top as well. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at that. Yep, I see that too. And who else is here? Because I saw another shuttle. Where did he go? There he is. Who's this? 
Uh, this is actually one of the Ataraxia's gunships. They go in the large hangars on the side. Oh, right. Okay, so you've undocked. New design you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it looks cool. I like the uh, hollow part down the middle. That's fresh. It was uh, created by Ooh. Zero for me. I yep. had a shuttle, but uh, Zero had to go and blow it up. Ah. There was a I frenzy actually... with turrets. Oh, yeah, I did see some <laughs> I shooting. Actually... Just filled in the front of this uh, of the gap on this just for a camera, for now. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It looks I need nice to mod like it up that. So I can... That looks nice like I that. I think uh, I might actually keep it like this. It looks cool. You don't see anybody doing that, so it's unique. It's another unique design, man. Very well done. Okay, let's get on to the next ship in the lineup, and I think we're going to spend a little bit more time over this one because uh, this one just stuck out. <laughs> stuck? It's not a word. But it, stuck. but it definitely stuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just take a quick look at the runway and then I'll double back. Um, I think you're going to have to tell me about the fighters as well, because, uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. You've got an... Oh, wow. And that is... That is epic as well. I don't know what that actually... Is it a ballast? No. Is, is it a breaker or something? Uh, the black bit on the front? Yeah, you... You get them on the big, the old big ships, you know. Uh, yeah, on old world ships, they are actually radar arrays. Are they and radar sonar arrays? Oh, is that what they are? Huh. Because I remember there's one on the um, spaceship Yamato. Yeah, it's also part of the uh, keel of the ship. Yeah, the keel. The weighted part to keep it upright. There you go. That's a keel. See, my ship terminology is escaping me. Okay, so what have we got back here? Can you see where I am? Because I'm in a core. And I don't know if yep. you can see. I had to take the thrust off because I was jerking around too much. Um, so you've got intakes I take for the engines here? Uh, yes, those are basic representations of air intakes. With some turrets as well? Yep. And then moving back, we've also got this. I'm just going to go and have a look in here. Right? Ah, aha, bomber wing. So we've got a bomber, bomber wing in there. Oh, and it's got a uh, nice. That's that's really nice. So you can actually come in on the runway and then dock up. They're meant to come in from the side and launch from the surface. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Okay, moving on to the next hangar. What have we got in here? Oh, baby. It's just like it's just a nerdgasm in here. If anybody's actually seen Macross. Um, please comment below, because this is just, you know, if you've seen Macross, you want this ship. <laughs> I mean, so many toys, so little time. All right, we're going to move back past this, um, take a look at the engines. If you look back towards the uh, bomber bay, you'll notice something, a slight change if you come in from the fighter. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, I'm just going back round, because I want people to see that this side is actually like, you know, aircraft carrier style. It's yeah. really nice. This is most definitely an asymmetrical ship. I'm just going to run down this uh, tube here as well, launch tube. Show people what's yes, down there. Yes, that is for a drone launch bay. Excellent. I'm waiting for AIs to get updated to properly finish that. So they can actually figure out how to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Until then, it's just an unused hangar. Yep. Right, so in the bomber door, you say? Yep. yep. You should notice something a little different. A little different? What, there's a window up here? A door? Is this it? Is that what you're making me look uh, for? Corridor? Between the bomber and fighter hangar bays, I put a large plex door. Ah, yes. I did see you open that. Nice. Right. Do you want to name those little fighters as well, so just for the viewers? Uh, these are part of my Sabit series of fighters. These were redesigned for carrier use. Right. And so what did you have to change to redesign them for the carrier use there? Um, the weapons, uh, uh, the size of the weapons themselves were reduced. Uh, they still have some good overall firepower though. I think they look great, to be honest. It looks a little bit cleaner than the other one. I know that the weapons would have been better, but like more powerful, but... Uh... Well, the carrier model that you're seeing is based off of the older Type Zero. Type Zero. Cool. Let's have a look up top. So we've got more turrets. There's the bomber. A couple more of these. 
fighters. Very nice. Yeah, the top top seems to have the main turrets. Yeah. Yeah, she's turreted to match a battleship, but she's meant more as a command ship. And the name of the ship? Nimitz. The Nimitz. Beautiful. It's a really nice ship. Right. Uh, we'll take a look at the interior in a bit. So let's have a look at the next one. Next one is Crooked for some odd reason. Yep, I see that. Something bumped <coughs> it. Something bumped it. Well, your Nimitz did try to play bumper cars with the rest of the fleet. Oh, really? No, that was at, that was long before I put these in formation. So oh, what okay. is the... Well, they... What's the role or class? Uh, the one? currently Crooked ship is the is a typhoon class cruiser okay lots of turrets i see this is part of a new series of ships i did meant for actual combat unlike the uh, older fleet yeah very nice so it's got a thin silhouette it's not very big but lots of turrets so okay so is this just sort of your own style now or are you still basing these from you know existing uh this is a completely new style based off of a uh series of guns from a video game oh right which video game borderlands 2 oh right okay uh, guns in question <laughs> would be doll guns doll guns i thought they looked a little bit reminiscent of something but i never would have guessed that buddy <laughs> uh okay and so the name of this ship again please a typhoon. A typhoon. Excellent. Right. So, what is that noise? That would be feedback on someone's microphone. Fixed. Hello, Zorro. All right. Hello. How's it going? And we uh, we resume. So, uh, where was I? Okay. Let's start this from the top. What's the next ship in the lineup, then, buddy? Uh, what's this one we're looking at? That here? would be the Dassault, the one in be one next to the Typhoon ah, with the similar markings. The Dassault. I saw a video on this one. Yes, the, uh, the Dassault you saw in that video was actually the prototype model. This one's been refitted since then. Ah, okay. Because I heard this one's a bit of a beast. Uh, yeah. The turrets alone were capable of taking on a little over 20 of your Migraine Trigger Mark Threes. Ooh, that's a pretty good swarm. That's a pretty good swarm. So what is the role for this uh, particular ship? Is there one? Uh, this is a light battleship. Light All battleship. three of the ships <clears throat> of this side, uh, this line, are meant for fast engagement. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Can't wait to see them in, the, uh, in action. So what is the next one, is the, is the question? The next one is the Mirage. The Mirage. And this, this is the battle cruiser of the armed series of ships. Oh, okay. Wow. It's got slightly bigger turrets, it looks like. Well, all three ships use the same three turrets. This one just has more of the largest size turret. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, nice. Okay, so just taking a look down the other side. So, two, well, yeah. And unimplemented on all three, because I'm waiting on chain docking, is a detachable hangar pod to carry a small complement of fighters. Oh, a detachable hangar. So where would yes. you actually put that, though? <laughs> uh, they would go under the ship, generally. Oh, okay, so you've left room for them. <clears throat> Correct. Excellent, okay. Well, I can't wait to see that, because, like I say, that's coming in the next build, Chain Docking. Yep, and that's what I'm waiting on. Excellent. Okay, well then. So I guess we're going to get on to the next ship in the line, and we know this one is the Ataraxia. We've seen yeah, this we one. can skip over it. We've seen this one in a Well, you previous... can do the little gunship you're in right now. We'll go round. We'll go round it. And, yeah, we'll uh, get to it. I put it on the other side of the uh, my cruiser. We'll so. go around because the thing is, this is a lovely ship and it deserves a it deserves a little view. Come on, uh, here he is. <laughs> it looks a lot wider once I have it, than it did last once time. Once I, I have it, it finished, too. Uh, no, it's the exact same size. Yeah, the actual hull hasn't changed. All of the changes have been internal. 
once I finish the internals, we'll give it a proper review. But till then. All right. In that case, on that basis, I will move on to the next ship. So what's the name of this one then? This one is the Xenophon, and it is at the moment just a hull. Just a hull. Okay, but still yep, very, very no pretty internals. hull. I think that uh, preview, a sneak preview of this ship must have gone up in the Fleet Shots Weekly Part Four. I think I, uh... I think I delayed that. Uh, I delayed releasing the screenshots by a week because there were too many sneak previews. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure because I, this one was sitting below our planet, so I'm not sure if it was ever actually seen. Oh, it definitely. Oh, it de not in a video. Scre the, ah, the weekly okay. screenshots gallery. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I've seen those. Oh, really? There's hundreds of photos, buddy. <laughs> I try to post them up, but it gets swamped a little bit, you know, because we got a lot of content out right. there nowadays. It's like we were, there was this little thread that we were all chatting on recently, and uh, it was like you had to scroll down, 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 down really far to find it. It was only <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's cool, though, you know? It's cool. The Xenophon is going to be more of my battleship. Yeah. Whereas the Ataraxia is a mothership. This is pretty as well. It's really pretty. I like this uh, circular end piece you've got going on around your engines. It was actually going to be the main part of the ship, and my original plan was to use this as, like, the ring would be uh, the hilt, and the front of it would be, like, a sword style. Mm. And it just didn't work out, so I decided to swap it and build it like this instead. Well, you've emulated that to some degree. Yeah, it still looks Somewhat. fine. Somewhat. It looks fine. It looks grand. That's what it needs to do. It, I had to rebuild it like four times before I got something that looked okay coming out the front. Mm, yeah, I know what you're saying. There was a lot of, uh, what would I call it, framework? Yeah. Scaffolding? Yeah. All over the whole front of this ship for a long time. <laughs> it's beauty. Okay, <clears throat> so let's move on to the next ship. What's this one called? Another one you've seen again is yeah, the Versing Versingatorix. I thought it looked like the the, uh, the Gaul. There he is. And then the next one is the one I'm in. Yep, which we looked at a minute ago. Yep, which is the as yet unnamed gunship. Nice, nice. Mm. Then we have a copy of the uh, Dassault, and then below it you'll see our work in progress. So why is there another copy of Dassault here? Um, this one was the one we had on here originally. Right. I left it here for defense because pirates have been showing up lately. <laughs> Excellent. Is there a difference between this one and the other one? Since this one's named uh, the Dassault Plus? No, they're Plus? identical. They're okay. Cool. And then the only the difference is the name change. Yeah. <clears throat> and this is our oh, big hang on, uh, few mining hang on, project. Hang on. Ghost has been working on this one, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, Ghost has been helping me uh, with supplies. I've been doing most of the construction on it so far. Okay. Excellent. And my tail section just caught, clipped it a little. Crap. Oh dear. <laughs> so what is this then? This is the beginnings of something epic. Uh, this is the beginnings of the Ghost Legion fleet flagship. Oh. Uh, -huh. uh, to get a reference picture of it, uh, Google the John A. Warden from Starship Troopers. The Johnny Warden. Ha, ah, no way. That's our basis for this ship. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Sweet. So you'll have something awesome to show, probably in not long now, and you guys. Um, I don't know. I might be done with the Macross before we get done with this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. I didn't. <laughs> he's got another ship that he's working on. <laughs> okay. It's being bumped um, as well, I think. But I'm not sure. Uh, that better? Yeah, Zai's trying to move it back a bit. He just got it reoriented. Ah, right. Yeah. Can you hear me now without that? Yeah, it's so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's grand. All right. So is there anything else you want to tell me about this? Work in progress here. 
It's going to uh, give the hailstorm a run for its money. Oh dear. After the refit. Well, if it happens <laughs> yeah. after the patch, I'm thinking lots of people might be giving hailstorm a run for its money. <laughs> I think there, yeah. there's going to be a refit on that for sure. I mean, I had planned to do it this week, but uh, with all the changes, I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer uh, just to sort of figure out exactly how the changes affect weapons, you know. Yeah. But what this ship is right now is just a glimpse into how I go about building large capital ships. Cool. Did you want to tell Because you can actually see a lot of the skeletal structure I do for counting and such. Yep, yep. yep. Alright, for now, uh, which one would you prefer to see first, the Macross or the M80? Uh, tell me to go up or down, guys. It's your choice. Uh, if we go straight up, up we'll find the Macross. Go straight up? Okay, yeah. Okay, straight up. What? Well, okay. Uh, four, oh, three, boy. negative one. It should be the sector. I can see it from here. It's fine. <laughs> it's pretty unmistakable, dude. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. Work in progress. Super dimensional fortress macros. It gets prettier the closer you get to the bow. Come on, who built it? Uh, I did, by hand, 100%. An eye being? Uh, zero sen. Zero sen for the people watching. It's just, I know how it is. We get talking and we forget to say who built yeah. what. <laughs> and it'd be like, oh yeah, it was one of these four guys. And it's, it's credit where credit's due. This is a nice ship. And... Love the turrets on the side. Hand build? Yes, this is 100% hand build. It looks it, because you can see. I like when you show me... See, I like to see things before they're finished in a way. Because it's like, you know, you can see this is no conversion yeah yeah this is a proper yeah. proper build um, as she sits right now the secondary weapons are the only active function on the whole ship yep the main gun has been stripped out to be redone once the patch hits right yeah of course but you can actually take a peek inside and see how much room there is to work with for weapon systems and internals. Yep, I will be going in the back door right about now. Okay. Whew, these turrets are massive too. Um, actually, those are all fixed guns. They, well, they're they are the turrets yeah. of, the, of the ship. They're just not going to move. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. On the actual ship, those are 170 millimeter rail cannons that were never used, ever. Yep. They were just fancy bits on the shoulders when it transformed. <laughs> what they never used it in the whole show. <laughs> I never noticed that. No. Nope. <laughs> they just had these really cool. They never guns. shot once. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because they would have wiped everything out and it would have been too easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to the ship's main cannon, they're tink they're Tonka toys. <laughs> True. They just fire the main cannon, you know it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so... Wow. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much in here because, you know... Reasons. Oh, nice generators, bro. And those are just... Uh, that's the minimum required just to fire the secondary weapons. Really? I had another generator set up around the main, main weapons array to fire it. I like... What, how you've built it in. Whoop! A little bit of a jump there. Oh, yeah. I like how you've built it in like this. It's good. Because it doesn't get in the way too much. Okay, then. So, that was the Super Dimensional Fortress Macross. So, we're going to check out the, uh, the next ship. What's the next ship? Uh, five, three, negative one, you'll find it. Straight down, isn't it? Uh, nope, no, just it's uh, to the left, I believe. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, where it is. To the left from Yep. Me. I know where it is. Okie dokie. Now, before you, before you see this, we had to heavily strip down its weaponry uh, that it ha relied on. Yeah, why is that? Because when we initially loaded it in, it actually crashed the server. Oh. That's not normal. 57 turrets. <laughs> That's normal. All undocked at the same time. Oh, yeah, that doesn't, the game doesn't like that. Yeah, yeah. Ghost, 
Uh, we should go a couple sectors away and spawn in that other one, see if we can get a, a good look yeah. at it. The tech server is going to be uh, without turrets because well, the way he designed these things, uh, his server has no uh, docking limits. So, oh, so I you helped can him just, build this one, you though. You can just dock whenever you want to whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, right. he could dock cannon to a cube. <laughs> Which is pretty <laughs> funny, let's be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very asymmetrical build if you look at it from the top. And if, just in case you can't, uh, you don't know the class, it's written on that side plate. Treadnought, yeah. Yeah. With a, uh, with a lowercase g. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So it's a, um, first... so it's an antiquated battleship from a past era. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh, several builds old. Nice, fits the name. So there you yeah. go. Dreadnought. There you have it. So I first want to thank you guys for taking the time to line all this up. We're actually on a different server right now, so it's all been set up for us to do this. So I just want to thank you guys for doing that and being available for uh, for the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, cool.